All right, looks like we have a new interface under the lock screen. We now have these two displays showing up here. We'll talk all about that in this video. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 5.0 beta number four on the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. So let's dive in and get started right away. So first, let's show you what the update is, how big it is, and what it has in store for us. So you can see we have a whole bunch of bug fixes. We still have some known issues, but the size of this update is pretty significant. It is 1.5 gigabytes, ends in VJ2. It does have the October security patch. Now we also have some new changes in here that I'm going to show you right away. But if you want, you can take a look at these things right here, pause the video and read which bugs have been fixed. Now one of the biggest things here is this apparently was a bug. It says deleted multi-user function. So when you pulled this down on the top, you had the option to change your user profiles for your phone. You could have multiple user profiles. Also, if you went to the settings, accounts and backup, you also were able to see users in here. That has been removed. That was not supposed to be in here. It most likely is not coming back. Now, that's one thing. It's been removed. The other thing that is actually new is if you go to the lock screen, you can see we now have a brand new look here as far as customizing the lock screen goes. We have two preview screens. This one is for widgets. This one is for the lock screen, and if you actually tap on them, you can modify your lock screen right from here, okay? Let me just go back, and if you tap on widgets, you are able to modify the widgets that you end up seeing on the lock screen. All of them are enabled. Now, if I lock the screen, those widgets, if you tap on the clock, appear right here, okay? So now you can just modify them right from that screen. That's the new look. You also have this option. You can touch and hold to edit or disable it. That's for the lock screen. So in the lock screen, let me go back there. If you touch and hold, you have the option to edit the lock screen right from here. If you don't want that option and you just want to do it from here, you can disable it. Now you cannot touch and hold to edit. Now, another thing that has changed is this on the top. And so saying routines, it now says modes and routines. Okay, so they have changed it. When you go inside, you're going to see it on the top here as well, which makes sense because we have the modes here, the routines here. Initially, they had it named to routines only. Now it says modes. Now, one more thing that has also been changed slightly is if you go to the advanced features, you'll notice that they took the labs and they put it on the top. So this option here was on the top. Labs were somewhere at the bottom here. Now it's been moved to the top. I guess it makes sense but the options inside the labs is also the same. Another big thing that has been fixed, especially for me, is the fact that when I went in here and went into my wallpapers, it actually just crashed. Now it doesn't crash, so I can access all my wallpapers and actually modify them. So you can see we have all these wallpapers I can have on all pages, alrighty? Nice wallpapers. I got the colors, it's not crashing, so that's perfect, I got that that, that, let's go back. And the best part at the bottom, if you have any downloaded wallpapers, they're not gonna show up here as a preview as you can see. And I can even pick them right from here. So if I click that, I get a quick review and I can click on done and add that wallpaper uh, onto my lock or home screen. So downloaded wallpapers are gonna show up here. We have a shortcut to Galaxy themes and I can tap here to access all of them if I so desire. So that's great as well. And then with the always on display, it looks like the animation now is a little bit smoother. So when I double tap and it wake up the screen, the animation transitions back and forth a little bit smoother as you can see. So that's great that fixed that. And the overall animation on the phone haven't changed that much. If I launch the calculator, I go like that. It just goes back to its place. Looks like it's a little bit more behaved right now but it's not that different from the previous betas except for beta number one. So if I launch this, let me see. Okay, so it doesn't jump like crazy all over the place. If you do go this way, it'll go that way. And then go back here. 
but mostly it just goes nice and smooth back to its icon. Overall, it does feel smooth and more stable. If I go to the camera, it's nice and smooth as well. This is the fourth beta, so there have been some large betas. So everything seems to work nice and smooth. At this point, this phone is ready to be used as your daily driver. The official software update is coming very soon. All right, if you have noticed anything else, drop a comment down below and let me know. But for now, it seems to be all there is to it. Questions, comments, or concerns, also drop them down below. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.